Hi everybody, this is Lauren of Plan Mosh Plan. Welcome back to another plan with me. Today I'm actually doing my wedding week spread, which is really exciting. I feel like I've been waiting to do this for a while. I, I don't know why. Like I I think because I got this kit from Paper Blush Bar, I ordered it like maybe even after I got married or like the week I got married and I didn't get it for a while and then I really felt like I didn't want to like plan my honeymoon and post videos after my wedding until after I uploaded this one. I don't know. I don't know why that is, but um, yeah, the kit is from Paper Blush Bar. It's called Save the Date, I believe, um, or at least that's what the quote box says. It's really pretty. You could choose the foil and I chose silver. I don't know why because silver is probably my least used foil. Um, these were 100% my wedding colors, the like dark green and the sage green and the blush and a lot of white. Um, so I thought that was one of the main reasons why I ended up using this kit because this is really similar to what I was going for with my wedding. And I did not pull in any silver in my wedding. I pulled in like I w mostly just natural stuff. Like I didn't do a lot of metal, but I did have some like gold votives and like my wedding ring is, um, well actually my wedding ring is white gold, but I don't know. Anyways, I don't know why I picked silver. It's definitely the foil I have the least of. Like when I am shopping for foils, um, I will like always buy the gold of something. And then whether I buy rose gold or silver is kind of iffy since I use gold the most, but I really like how the spread turned out. It's super busy. I did so much stuff this week. I felt like I was running around like a crazy person the whole week. Um, but so that kind of makes for me, like when I'm memory planning, that makes a very kind of busy looking spread, but it helps in my opinion, or at least for my planning style, when I use um, really like soft and pretty kind of pastel watercolor kits um, to do those weeks, because then even though I'm cramming a ton of stuff in my planner, totally overcrowding it, um, it still ends up looking pretty soft and pretty um, without being like way too too much. I mean, it's a lot. I'm not going to say it's not a lot. And I didn't fit half the stuff that I did this week in there. But yeah, um, this week was awesome. It was just like, well, well, the week, it was a little stressful. I wish it would have been a little less stressful. Um, but like I said, I was just doing a lot of stuff, but I did have the week off of work, which was really nice. If your job affords you or your lifestyle, whatever, you have the ability, ability to do that. Um, I would totally recommend taking the week off before your wedding. I could not have gotten everything done if I was working this week, like at all. And then it started just like a month off of PTO for me, which was really nice. I was tell Stephen and I were talking about it because he took, I think he took the day off on Wednesday, but um, like he didn't take Monday, Tuesday off, but so he had almost as much PTO as me. And we were just like, we haven't felt this way, like so relaxed and like de-stressed and disconnected um, since like we were in high school, basically like memory or like probably college, like summers in between college. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was, it was just, it was good. This is just the start of a really good week. Um, okay. I also have a couple of questions. There weren't, I have a lot of questions from when I asked on Instagram for them. And then a couple of them were either about like my wedding or Steven. So I thought I would just do some of those, um, really quickly. Um, Emmy Plan said, did you pick your engagement ring or did your man surprise you? Um, he surprised me um, with it. I didn't know. I We didn't go ring shopping or anything like that. We did years ago when we were, um, it's kind of a long story, but when we were just graduated college, we did a like two, three month Europe backpacking trip. And the end of the trip, we did Budapest and Prague. <laughs> just, I know this sounds random, but it's not. Um, so this was again like five years ago, but um, when it cut like our we had been gone for months at this point, and we were like kind of falling apart at the end there. Um, so we were in Budapest, and Stephen actually got mugged and he got his phone stolen, and then we were on the train from Budapest to Prague, and he got so sick, like so sick. His fever was we didn't have a thermometer, but I could tell it was just like he was just shaking and so hot and he wouldn't let me take him to a hospital and we we're in this like random hostel in Prague and if you've ever been to Prague it's probably like it just people don't really speak as much English there as they do in like more western parts of Europe um but anyway so we were there for a long time and he got pretty bored because there just wasn't he was so sick and there just wasn't anything he could do he couldn't leave his bed for like five days or whatever 
and I tried to stay with him for a lot of the time. Um, we didn't have books or anything. We were backpacking. So it got to the point where I was like sitting next to him and I was showing him my Pinterest and I showed him like, I had a ring board on Pinterest. <laughs> um, and I was like, yeah, these are the ones I'm looking at. Da, 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 da. And we knew at this point that getting married was a very long way away. But that was like years ago. I, that was like when I told him, this is my, I have a ring board on Pinterest. Like I keep this updated just so you know. And then like after that in years following that, we would like, if I was flipping through a magazine or anything like that, I would, and I like landed on a page that had like an ad for rings. And there was like three different type of rings on the page. I'd be like, which one do you think I like the most? And he would guess. And I'd be like, oh yeah, that's, that is the one I like the most. Or I'd be like, oh, you know what? I don't really like cushion cut anymore. Now I'm into more like round diamonds. So um, anyways, that's kind of how we were for years. So it's, we didn't ever like go ring shopping, but he did know that I liked a solitaire and I liked round. So um yeah, that's, that's pretty much how that happened. But yeah, I was very surprised when he, when he um, asked me and I saw the ring. I feel like I've told this story before, but I kind of blocked out when he proposed to me. Um, but I did, he tells me this, I don't remember this, but he said that um, when he got down on a ring or on his knee and he said, Lauren, will you marry me? And he opened the box. My answer was holy shit and not, <laughs> and not um, yes first. Um, okay. Let's see if I can find another one. Um, Katamarina Martins asked, how long have you been living with Steven? Um, we've been living together for, I don't know, almost two years, I think. Yeah. Um, that's, we moved in, yeah, I think in April and it's November. So it'll be two years in April. Um, I know there was another one. Sorry, I'm trying to scroll through these. Oh, just plans asked, and how does married life feel like? She asked another question too. Honestly, to me, it doesn't feel any different. I think <laughs> for us, we've been living together for a couple years and we, um, you know, we've been just together for like 13 years. So it's not that we've been in a very committed relationship for a very long time. So I think it's not, the only thing that's different is I, like at when we're out and stuff, I'll be like, oh, this is my husband, Steven. And that's different than saying like, oh, my fiance or my boyfriend. But to be honest, we've done that like for a while before this. Like if we were at, there's times where Steven like at a hotel or something where it just makes more sense and it's easier. He'll be like, that's my wife. Like, can you get my wife's bags or something like that? Like we've done that for a while. <laughs> so I don't know. Anyways. Okay. Um, that is, that's the, I like the whole base laid down. I pretty much only used stuff from the kit. The only other thing was, um, the planning world date dots. So I'm going to get into the rest of the week now. Um, on Monday, I marked the day off. I had the whole week off, but I just thought I'd mark like this was the start of my days off. So, um, I layered a flag and then that script is from white deer stationery. Um, I also, I think I, ordered the seating chart this day. I can't really remember. I wrote seating chart. There was, I think I mentioned in my last video, all of the stuff that got messed up with our seating chart. So there was just kind of a lot going on. I don't know if I finalized it or ordered it or what, but whatever. Um, and then this was, Monday was the only day that I really had, like, I didn't have any appointments. The rest of the week I had appointment, like multiple appointments a day, but I did kind of just take Monday to like do some more kind of chill stuff. So um, like I did the seating chart. I, um, I'm putting right here. I ordered all of the like signs that you need for my wedding. Um, that is, I cut a piece of washi, t uh, washi from the kit in half and then layered a, uh, minus addiction foiled box over it. The signs are like, you know, you need like little signs that say like favors and guest book and seating chart. Or, I mean, you don't need them, but I, I bought them. <laughs> I worked with a really great shop on Etsy who was like, worked really fast with me and personalized some of them and didn't charge me any extra for that. And then shipped them and was really wonderful. So if I remember, I will put her link in the, um, in the description below. Cause she was really great. Um, okay. I marked grocery shopping. That sticker is from Paper Muse Crafts. I just layered it over a little circle from the kit and then I did an Insta haul. I'm not sure of what, um, and that was from Paper Blush Bar. And then I just marked having kind of a lazy day. It wasn't really lazy, but for the most part, I think aside from going grocery shopping, I just stayed home. So, um, I layered a piece of washi with that Paper Muse Crafts lazy day sticker. Okay. This part, I um, actually 
change so it's different what I'm gonna put down is a letters to Apollo hair trial sticker and then these tasseled planner hair dryers to mark that I had a hair trial this morning but I didn't end up liking how I look so I actually switch it out for a paper blush bar um one instead but um I ha- went to my mom's house for this hair trial because I had a dress fitting right after it I mentioned in my last plan with me or maybe the one before it that I ended up having a lot of trouble with my like hair and makeup artists. Um, I booked really last minute. So that part was kind of on me. I didn't definitely didn't have like the time to figure out exactly what I wanted and find the people who are exactly the right style or whatever. And then the people that I initially picked, the woman who was organizing the whole thing kind of screwed me over. And so I was trying other people and that's what this was. I was trying somebody else to see if I could figure out a different option. Um, so I did this hair trial at my mom's house. She was really nice. Um, she didn't do my hair well, I think. Um, I I don't want to say that. I don't want to sound mean or like unappreciative, but, um, it just didn't turn out how I wanted it. I wanted something really loose and boho and flowy. And I told her that and I showed her pictures. I wanted it simple. I just wanted boho flowy beachy curls and a little bit of volume and just like pin back. That's all I wanted. I think it's pretty simple, but she gave me like massive, like toddlers and tiara volume, super like quaffed and just like, just not me at all. So I hated it. It was horrible. (laughs) I was like trying to like vigorously get it down, but yeah. Anyway, so after that, um, I went to a dress fitting, Uh, My mom was supposed to come with me that's why I was at her house first, but she ended up really sick and I was freaking out about getting sick. So I was wearing like a face mask. I was in another room. I didn't let her anywhere near me and near me. I felt bad, but I was like, mom, I'm sorry. Like, can I FaceTime you when I'm there? So I just went with my aunt. Um, and that was nice. I did feel bad about my mom, but she totally understood. Um, and the dress sticker that I used was from the paper muse craft. She has like a separate, um, sheet that matches this kit that has a bunch of like wedding stickers on it. Um, okay, after that, I got coffee with my aunt. I marked that again with a paper blush bar sticker. And then I marked filming with uh, some washi from the kit. And then I can never remember. If, oh, I think those film scripts are from pa- um, Magic Prince Co. And I layered it again with the paper blush bar sticker um, camera icon. And then after I went to Target um, that afternoon, I think I actually ran into my aunt at Target, which was funny because we like we're in uh we were in a different town doing my dress fitting we went and got coffee and then we're like okay bye see you later and then we both went to target and ran into each other at target (laughs) and we're like oh hi and it was like in a different town that neither of us live in that was just on our both of our way back home so that was funny um but anyways I got a bunch of fall decor and I just kind of ended up decorating my apartment for fall that day which was really fun and just got some new kind of decor items. Um, the bag that I did the Target haul is from White Deer Stationery, and the bow is from Sticky Sock Designs. Oh, I should mention, I have coupon codes for a bunch of these shops um, down below. I know that my code for Paper Blush Bar, which this kit is from, is Lauren15, but they're all listed down below. Okay, um, on... Wednesday, my sister came home from New York, so I marked that, and then I had a makeup trial that morning. Again, I was trying to do, like, other trial, other makeup artists. This was the one that I will totally say she was terrible. (laughs) It was so bad. You might know that I do a little bit of makeup myself. I have done makeup for other people's weddings. I don't consider myself a professional, but every so often people ask me, and I'll do it, so... I feel like I'm okay to like judge a little bit, even not like just as a human, it looked so bad. She, she came in, she was late. Her makeup was dirty. I was trying to be nice. So I offered her a cup of coffee and she was like, yeah, I'll have a cup of coffee. So I made her a cup of coffee. And then she was like, Oh, can I, I had foaming milk on my coffee. She's like, can I have my milk foamed? I'm like, sure. And then we ended up being really late. And then she just did such horrible makeup on me and it was just like cheap and the makeup was dirty. She wasn't like cleaning her brushes in between using them. It was just so bad. I literally, I don't know. It was terrible. Steven said he could tell that I didn't like it. So when I like came out of the bathroom after like putting on my own lipstick or something, but oh gosh, it was so bad. We had a wedding planning appointment after that, which she made us really late to. She went way over and I lit, she like left and I ripped, she put on these like plastic eyelashes that I ripped off. I wear eyelashes all the time, but these were so bad. And I was like embarrassed to go to my wedding planning appointment looking like that. 
Um, anyways, and then after that, I also had a keratin treatment, which I get every few months to kind of take the frizz out of my hair. That always takes a couple hours. And then I had dinner. Um, well, I actually didn't eat. <laughs> I went to my parents' house for dinner, but like I said, my mom was sick, so I was wearing a surgical mask the whole time because I really didn't want to get sick for my wedding. And fun fact about me, I get a lot of anxiety from thinking about getting sick. Um, so... Um, all those stickers uh, were p- uh, paper blush bar stickers that I used for Wednesday. Um, okay, Thursday in the morning, I had a wax appointment. Um, again, that's a paper blush bar sticker layered over a sticker from the kit. And then I had a spray tan appointment right after that, which I didn't think that through. You definitely shouldn't do that. That's not the ideal way to do that, but it worked out fine. Um, the spray tan appointment is sticker. Uh, oh, sorry. Gosh, the bow is from Nikki plus three. And then I still didn't have a dress for my rehearsal dinner. So I went shopping for a dress for my rehearsal dinner after that. And again, didn't think the order of all of these events through. So I went to Nordstrom, picked a couple dresses, um, of course, all white because I, it's, well, I was the bride, right? And then one of them was like expensive and I put it on and I was like, oh, I like it. It's really nice. Like maybe, I don't know, it's kind of expensive. And then I took it off, realized I got spray tan all over it. So I had to buy it. So that's the one I ended up with, but it turned out really cute. I'm glad I have it. I wouldn't have bought it probably normally, but I, it worked out. <laughs> um, I wouldn't have bought it cause it was too expensive. Not cause I didn't like it, but it worked out. And then after that, when I got home that evening, Steven and I both were just kind of like finishing our vows. So we sat on the couch for a couple hours, um, next to each other doing that. Although we didn't like see each other's vows. We just were sitting next to each other doing it, um, So that was really nice, and I marked, um, yep, anyways, marked out all these stickers are from Paper Blush Bar, except for that, um, that heart on the bottom is from, uh, Planning and Mint. So after that, we had a family dinner at my parents' house. A bunch of my aunts and uncles were in town. They had, like, um, they, they catered it, like, they did takeout or something, but, um, they just, like, had everybody over at their house that night, so Stephen and I kind of stopped by at the end just to say hi to everybody um yeah so that was really fun um okay on to the next day um oh wait no I was switching out the I really like those washi tape stickers from paper blush bar I just switched it out for the pink color okay Friday was the day of my rehearsal dinner and it was crazy I was running around like a crazy person I didn't really realize (laughs) there was just so many like boxes of things and whatever that I needed to bring. We had been kind of making this stacked up pile of them for a while, but I didn't really realize like how much stuff I still needed to put together. So I ended up being kind of late for my Manny Petty appointment, which threw off the whole day because that was the first thing I was supposed to do. So I went with my friend to get my nails done in the morning. Um, she was really kind. She paid for it, which was so nice and brought me a coffee from Phil's, which was really sweet. Um, that sticker is old from Simply Watercolor Co., I think. And then after that, um, I was supposed to get my hair blown out at dry bar, but I was late, um, to dry bar and they have a really strict late like policy. Um, so I couldn't, but like get it blown out, but they were able to, um, like just curl it. They weren't able to like wash it and blow it out, but they were able to just curl it, which was fine. It looked good that day, but I was supposed to have them wash the keratin out of my hair and then have my hair curled. I like how dry bar curls my hair. So I was going to have them curl my hair and then just like kind of get it styled the next day for my actual wedding. So that was kind of a mess and I was stressed out about that, but it ended up being fine. Um, then I had my wedding rehearsal. That was super fun. Um, just kind of first time all of like my friends and Steven's friends and family were all together. Um, just like good time. We walked through everything with our wedding planner and all that. That was a good time. And then we had our rehearsal dinner directly after that. It was at a brewery. Um, we were like in the back room with all the like giant brewing stuff. I don't know. It was super casual. Um, but really we had a really, really fun time. There was a, we had like a pizza truck come where they like backed up their pizza brick, pizza oven like right into the back of the brewery and then they also did this like ginormous huge entire table like a huge table the entire thing was like a giant charcuterie board so that was really fun people loved it we had a really good time um that day and it was really good 
and then Steven and I came back after and we're just at the hotel and had a really good time that night too although I did not sleep at all I slept like three hours before my wedding like I wasn't nervous or anything I just like knew that I needed to sleep like I wanted to be well rested and I got in my head and I couldn't fall asleep so I did not sleep at all but it's not like it mattered I was so like jazzed all day it didn't matter at all um okay so then it was my wedding day it was so much fun um, my mom rented out like a whole room at our hotel, not like, like an event room. So it wasn't like a, it wasn't like a, you know, a hotel room we stay in. It was like an event room because we had, um, two makeup artists and a hairstylist. So there was three of them. They were doing like all my bridesmaids hair and makeup all day, plus my mom's. And then like my aunts, all my aunts were kind of coming in and out and like saying hi, my, so my cousins and whatever. So everybody was just kind of like in and out and it was really fun. My mom did, um, Like, she had our coffee starting at 8 a.m. They had, like, a coffee service for us. So my bridesmaids came at, like, 8, 8.30, and we had hair and makeup starting right then. Then we did, um, they served us a mimosa bar at, like, 11 a.m. And then we also did, they also served us, oh, they had, like, a breakfast buffet. Did I mention that? There was a whole breakfast buffet (laughs) my mom had, like, literally a buffet. And then there was a smaller kind of lunch service um, at the end of the day, too. So, that was great. It was just like everyone hanging out all day. Um, just lots of like face masks and painting people's nails and whatever. Very girly mimosas and coffee. It was just super fun to have all my friends, all my like best friends in one place with my sisters and stuff. Um, all the stickers that I'm using. Um, yeah. Ask me in the comments if you want to know where they're from. Um, and then we went off to my wedding and it was the best thing ever. It was literally... I can't even describe it. Um, I do have my wedding video up on my channel. I want to say thank you to all of you who commented on it. It meant a lot to me. There was a lot of comments. I didn't, I haven't responded to them yet because they were just so nice that you like don't even know what to say, you know, but, um, genuinely if you like left a nice comment, I read it and I really do appreciate it. Um, but yeah, that was, I couldn't obviously put everything down on my planner from my wedding. So if you're interested, you can watch that video, but it really, really was everything I wanted it to be. It was amazing. And we had so much fun, truly. It was the best day ever, best month ever, really following that, but best day ever too. Oh, sorry. If you heard someone's getting pulled over. (laughs) Okay. The next day we went and uh, woke up and people like unintentionally ended up having brunch with my family. We went down to the lobby to say goodbye to everybody. And my like or some friends that were leaving of mine and my entire family was just like, de- like all my aunts and uncles, both sides of my family were just down there having brunch. And I was like, excuse me, no one invited us, <laughs> but no, I'm kidding. Um, but yes, yeah, so we kind of ended up having brunch with them and then we didn't know that. So we didn't invite Steven's parents obviously because, or his family, cause we didn't know. But after that, we went over to their hotel and had brunch with them too. And then we drove back home and we took the longest nap ever. Uh, it was so so nice (laughs) so relaxing and just like best day ever and um we also realized after that nap that we were so like discombobulated and whatever that we realized oh we drove separately to the hotel and we left my sister's car there so we had to drive all the way back to the hotel which was like 45 minutes away and pick up my sister's car so that was a thing. And then um, we did that. We drove back over to Steven's house and his brother got us um, deli sandwiches, which were which was really nice. So we went and kind of hung out with him for a little bit. Um, and then after that, we drove over to my parents' house and we were having like a family dinner at my parents' house with everybody. We had some, de- we had a dessert truck at our wedding and when Steven and I barely got to even try any of the desserts. So they had like a bunch of boxes of those. We had a bunch of that and they had our cake it, and that, yeah, it was just really fun. So um, yes, this is my wedding spread. I really hope you enjoy it um, or enjoyed watching the planner version of it. Like I said, I do have the wedding video if you want to watch the actual wedding and see a lot of this stuff in real life. But yeah, it was really the best best day of my life. Like people say that, but it's true. Um, it, just having everybody that you love all in one place and kind of getting to like be like marry the person that you love is is really a beautiful thing so it was everything 100% it was everything that I wanted it to be and kind of better in a lot of ways I never could have really pictured it and all the hard work paid off so um, thank you for watching this video and all of my other videos too leading up to this where I talked about it so much Um, they're over now (laughs) on to my honeymoon next but that's all for now thanks everybody bye